Survey the scene if it is safe for you to engage. Introduce yourself to the victim and ask permission to help. If the person or subject is unconscious, ask permission to the bystander or to the family member of the person. I am Jinky, trained first aider. I have my PPEs on. May I help? Check the responsiveness of the person by tapping the shoulder enough to wake him or her. Tap the shoulder three times and ask if the person is okay. Hey, 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 are you okay? Check the airway if there is any foreign object visible by doing maximum head tilt and chin tilt. We can now proceed to check the breathing and circulation. Also, check simultaneously for 10 seconds the breathing by placing your cheek on the person's nose and mouth and also by looking to the abdomen and chest area. And circulation by looking for carotid pulse located on the neck area. If you notice upon your first assessment that the person has no pulse and is not breathing, immediately ask a specific bystander to call ambulance or advanced medical personnel. Sir, ma'am, can you please call an ambulance and medical personnel? Come back to me ASAP. Then, start doing the CPR by placing dominant hand over non-dominant hand. And make sure that the front of your elbow is the one who is visible. Thank you. Always look to the face of the person to monitor if he or she is making a reaction indicating that the person is conscious. Use your upper body upon giving chest compression. 30 chest compression to ventilation. Do this for 5 cycles or until the person showing signs of life or positive signs of pulse and breathing. When to stop cardiopulmonary resuscitation? When to stop cardiopulmonary resuscitation? Spontaneous signs of breathing and circulation or turn over to personal provider or advanced medical personnel. If operator is exhausted and physician assumes responsibility or if the scene is unsafe. When the person is showing signs of life or positive signs of pulse and breathing, check for deformity, open wounds, tenderness, and swelling, or dots. If there is any possible injury and put the person into the recovery position, with their palm facing up. Take the other arm and fold it so the back of their hand rests to <laughs> Use your free hand to bend the person's knee farthest from you to the right angle. Yeah. Carefully roll the person onto their side by pulling on the bent knee. Rub the back to make the person more relaxed or vomiting. Stay with the person and monitor their condition until help arrives. That's all. Thank you. Thanks.